Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. And today we are going to be making the CEF and four conductive iron cables. So first of all, I went ahead and got all the materials to make the CEF. So that would be four conductive iron energy conduits, which we made last week, four, uh, four times conductive iron wires, which is four of these one times conductive iron wires. So you take two, put it together, that makes two times, and then you take two of the two times to make a four time. Okay. Um, then what else did I make? A LV machine hull which is one times tin cable LV machine casing, which is raw iron plate around a wrench. And then um, three raw iron plates, and that gives you the machine hull. And then put that together with a primitive circuit, and that gives you a CEF. So like I said, I went ahead and I made that. Uh, where are we? Here we go. So now to make the other bit, which is the four times conductive iron cable. So that is conductive iron wire in rubber sheets. So we need four conductive wire iron, ar conductive wire, conductive iron wires. We need four of those. So we need four conductive, conductive iron plates. I've been doing a lot of mining and smelting and mining and chopping down trees. As you can see, I've been going, getting very busy because it's easier to put all the redstone or all of whichever ones they are in different drawers rather than making the upgrade. Well, for me, it's just easier because we've got so much wood. Um, let me see. We need four rubber plates, which is here. One, two, three, four. Then the plates and you see, oh, I got the rubber sheets there as well. Okay, we need conductive iron plate for those. Hopefully our cutters will last and for those four rubber sheets and the rubber sheets yeah we just did those two three four of those that's two So I've noticed that sometimes you make more than one and it doesn't appear. I don't know why. And that's four. So how many of those did we need? Just one? Oh, we need four. Okay, well then let's do that all over again. So, um... That's one. So you need 16. No. 12 right because you've already made one then we need the rubber sheets so we need 12 of those and then to make the conductive iron cable iron wire now that's over here oh and I also made all of these tables in anticipation of all the wonderful recipes we'll be doing okay one two three four. might as well press shift and get all of them 
and then the wire is where did they go oh they're still in here 12 of those 12 of those and 12 rubber sheets give us 12 wires And that gives us four conductive iron cables. Quest complete. And we get five Omni pennies. Okay, with your first circuit in hand, you now want to build a CEF. The CEF is a device that converts RF power into EU power, which is what Greg Tech machines need. CEFs come in two sizes, times four and times 16. Each slot can hold a single LV battery. Never hook up a cable with a thickness that is less than the size of the CEF's number of the CEF's the number of slots. So you must have a times four cable for for a four slot CEF, and a times sixteen cable for a sixteen slot battery buffer. C cables skinnier than the number of slots will cause the cable to burn up and be destroyed. RF converts into EU at a 4 to 1 ratio. 100 RF becomes 25 EU and vice versa. If you want to ever switch over to be, to be primarily powered by EU, a device called the CEU, CEU can switch power from EU to RF. Okay. So what's this? Putting it all together. So now you have all the parts to power your machines, now you put it together. Your steam dynamo needs burnable fuel like coal and water. It will, it will output RF power through the excitation coil, the red bit at the top. The orient orientation of the steam dynamo can be adjusted with a crescent hammer if need be. Although energy conduits can be used to transfer the RF power, it can also just be outputted directly into the next step, the CEF, by making the CEF touch the excitation coil. The CEF will transfer the power into EU. It needs to be fed RF power to output its EU power through the red dot. The orientation can be adjusted using a wrench. Then attach your conductive iron cables to the red dot. Now all you need is some Greg Tech machines to hook up to these cables. You can make whatever you want, but it is recommended you get these two first. The wire mill will make crafting wires much, much easier. And the compressor will make plates from one ingot instead of two. That sounds awesome. Um, okay, so we can claim that. Okay, LV motors, the wire mill, or a doubling. I think that's our next logical um, step because you don't you go through a lot of ores. Okay, in most expert packs, you want to process as little ore as possible before you get access to ore doubling. It's a habit most of us are in. You shouldn't feel any pressure to do that in Omni Factory. Ore veins are massive, and mining is extremely fast with mining hammers. What's more, even even once you get access to the maciator. It processes all very slowly and takes a decent amount of power as well. Obvious exceptions would be rare materials like gold or anything you'd need to buy from the coin shop because you can't find it. These are worth all these are worth doubling naturally. But at least for now you shouldn't feel any guilt about processing the more common ores without doubling them. All doubling can safely be stored ignored until MV or even later. Okay, so we don't need to all double. And spend your coins. And basically, let's say spend your coins. All right, I don't need to read all of that out because my voice is tired. <laughs> so we need to go to LV Motors, an electric motor. Okay, so before we do that, we need. I need to work out where I'm going to put these machines then. Should we go down? 
I don't know. I don't know if it's worth staying up here. Or if we need to go downstairs. Because I don't know how big these machines are. I think we could stay here for now. No lumber axe. We want that. I've been doing lots of um, exploring in buildings and getting lots of ingots that I wouldn't normally get yet. So that's good. Do we go down? I don't know what to do. I think we'll go down. We'll put the machines down here. So we have our steam dynamo, our infinite water source. Okay, the tank should be filling up. It's filling up slowly. Okay, this is what they said that the the excitation device needs to be on top. Well, not needs to be on top, but it, that is what we need to attach. We need cables. We need the conductive cables. Uh, this one. What am I missing? I've got that. Oh, we need conductive iron wires. Um, do I have conductive iron plates? Okay, we've got five. That's a whole stack of conductive iron I've gone through. Uh, and um, what are we going to make? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, these things. Okay, and this is CEF. It needs batteries. I'm guessing. Uh, no. I don't know what that needs. Redstone off. Well, that still isn't going into there. Okay, let's just try rotating it. Anyway, um, backpack. I also upgraded my backpack. Which, let me see, that is thermal expansion. So is that the crescent wrench we need? Yes. Oh, okay. How is that? Is that still going up? Yes. Did my, yeah, it is going up. All right, well then let's put that there. I know, is it? And that needs, this is Greg Tech, right? Yes, Greg Tech. So that needs the Greg Tech wrench, which is this one. Nope. Okay, doesn't like it when I shift click. Oh yes. Alright, so maybe it depends on your orientation and where you're standing. Um, where is it? There it is.
Okay, I think that's gone to the red dot. What did it say about the red dot? I'm probably doing it all wrong. Back. And... Putting it all together. Okay, you conduct your uh, your wires to the red dot, so I probably shouldn't have done that then. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, they're not connecting. That's conduit, though. Um, conductive iron cables, that's conduit. Is that the same thing, though? That might not be the same thing. But anyway, we've done that. The two of them are together. I'm... Um, I'm guessing the LV motor thing will have to work out what that is. I don't know why I've come all the way up to this table when in actual fact I could have stayed where I was and looked. Okay, let's have a look. Is there anything that looks like batteries though? No. Pumps, motors and pistons. All right, well then let's look at the motor. Uh, iron rods. Magnetic iron rod. Okay. All right, so an electric pump would be four copper arc four copper wires two tin cables iron rods okay uh where are my rods i think they're over here yes and um, what do you need to make an iron rod? It's not even given me... It's not even given me the recipe. Okay, did I make rods over here? Yes, I did. Silver, iron. Oh, you need the file. Okay. Alright, one, two... So any more iron? No, there's no more iron. Do I have any in my inventory? And of course now I've gone back to being not prepared because I didn't think I'd get the other two finished. Might as well get a couple. But yeah, you do get a lot of a lot of you need to get a lot of um stuff in this pack all right so that's oh there was some there okay what was the next thing all right so we got the two iron rods the magnetic rod we'll get to in a second four copper wires copper is this one yes Copper, I haven't found a lot of those. Oh no, but we need eight of those. Let's change the red alloy plate. And then to make the wires. As cable, we want wire. Okay, four of those wires. Let me see if I can 
get rid of some of this stuff in here. Oh, do we need another another thing for the sticky resin? I've been chopping down loads of trees. Okay, we've got tin plates. Okay, we need two tin cables. So the tin cables, we need tin wires tin plate Oh, we need a wire cutter. I didn't realize that had gone Wire cutters This one We must have wire cutters somewhere. No, we don't. Which is strange. Um, I have lots of, there you go, stuff. Okay, we go back here. We needed four of those. And four rubber sheets. And then that would give us our tin cable. It was tin cable and not tin wires, right? Uh, tin cable, yes. Tin wire. Okay. No, that's not the bit that I wanted. I wanted this bit. Oh, we, we need two electric motors. Oh, good grief. This is very time consuming. Well, let's make one anyway, because I can always make the other one off camera. Um, So we've got our wires. We've got a copper wire. We need four copper wires. So we need four copper plates. And then that turns them into copper wires. So you've got all of those. We need to make the metal wire conductive. Okay, four pieces of redstone and an iron rod. I can do that. All right, four pieces of redstone. One of the iron rods, and that makes it magnetic. And what are we making? LV motor. And there is one of our LV motors. Awesome. I guess we have time, we can make the next one. All right, so we need three more iron rods. Rods were around this way. Uh, what are these? Oh, those are iron. That's awesome. We need four more pieces of redstone. And make one magnetic. We need copper cable, copper, copper wires. Oh, we need to make um, copper plates. So we need some more copper. That is bronze. That is copper. Yeah, copper. I've I've have found very little copper. We need four copper, so that's eight, no, 
That's eight pieces to make four plates. One, two, three, four. Oh, I already had four. Great. Put that back there. It will be used. Uh, okay, we have that. And the two tin cables. Uh, tin, tin wire. It was two, not four. Ah, that is annoying. Never mind. Two, two tin cables. Uh, two tin cables. I'm going to have to put a table over there. A crafting table. I'm going to have to dot crafting tables all over the shop. So I can, um, I can access them from wherever. Let's make some more crafting tables and then we can claim our Omni pennies. Yeah, we have no, oh we have no wood. Let's make, let's make wood. Uh, two. All right, let's put a crafting table in front here, one in front here. One there. Look at that moon. It's brilliant. I love it. And one here. And I also made a crafting table on a stick. So then when we're walking around, we can use it. And of course, I forgot that I had it. So I could have been using it instead of putting crafting tables all over the place. But it's just easier to do that. And I like having them in the floor. It, I don't know. Gives me a little bit of comfort, I guess. I'm a strange duck. Right, so we have crafting table. We've done that. Let's collect our Omni pennies and see where that takes us. LV pumps. Oh, the early game opened up. I've just realised that. Early game has opened up. Oh. We're now getting to the medium voltage tier. Applied energetics to automa or, or, automation. Automation. Oh dear. I can't read. Applied energetics to automation. Actually additions extra utilities to travel to the moon. Wow. They don't want to do much, do they? So we have the cluster mill. And LV centrifuge. Okay. It's looking interesting. Uh, quests. So early games opened up. Got a bit more. Oh, these f funny little symbols that I've been seeing. Okay. So next week we can look. What's the wire mill? Greater yield for wires in your for your ingots. Pistons. What's this? LV conveyor. Okay. So I guess we go from the wire. So next week we can look at the wire mill and the LV pumps. And then the pistons and the conveyors, and then we can go out that way because the jetpack and this stuff that's not really needed as yet. Fuel catalyzers. Okay. But anyhow, we will we will deal with that. 
when it comes. So next week we will be looking at the wire mill at least, for the very least, and see where it goes from there. So thanks very much for watching this week. Please like, comment and subscribe because it really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.